Alright, what's good, Yugi Chiefs? Pangor321 here coming at you with a mystery power box. Um, picked this up from Walmart today, figured I would open this up for you guys. I had a request a while back, and I just kind of took a while to get that together. But I picked this up today and figured I would open it up. It seemed really cool, plus the random chance of maybe getting this. I don't think I'll get it, but that would be super cool if I could get that. Um, but anyway, it comes with three booster packs, five bonus packs, one structure deck, one mystery item, and one bonus item, whatever that means. And I don't think these are exactly what comes with it, but these are some of the things you could potentially get in it. Like, you have the Dragoonity deck, you could have one of those. Or, like, you could potentially get these old vintage packs. It'd be really cool. Um, so, yeah, let me get this opened up real quick. Alright, now that we got that off, pull some of these out. Uh, starting off, got the Dark Magician, DIY. Got Legacy of the Valiant, Primal Origin, Judgment of the Light. A um, bunch of Monster League packs. I'm stuck in there really good. Looks like a play mat. Guessing one of the Monster League mats, probably. Yeah. Quantum Cat mat. And a Dragoonity deck. Alright, so let's get started with some of these packs. Well, that's too bad. I didn't get any super old packs, but Dark Magician's kind of cool. We got a secret, Rainbow Karibo. I'll take that. That's cool. Wasn't expecting a secret from these. Ghost Trick Parade, Artifact Labrys. Manipulator, Mermaid Shark, Judgment of the Light, Star Seraph, and no foil there. We got the Rainbow Karibo though, that's kind of cool. As a pull, I wasn't expecting much of anything from these. I hate how glued together these are. I get some damage stuff. Look at this. Packs are opening themselves. That's how stuff together there. Alright. Forbidden Chalice. Butterfly Yoke. Zerkarilla and Psychic Jumper. Psychic Sword, Shatterfoil Bribe, Displayed, Quantum Kitty, and a Shredder. I don't even remember a whole lot that came in this, to be completely honest. I don't think I opened a lot of the set. Bark, A Iron, Spiked Gilman, Swamp Mirror, and a Shredder. We got Raging Mad Plants, a Gentlemander. A Toon Gemini Elf, Ayers Rock Sunrise, and Lure the Poison. And last pack. Yeah, Book of Eclipse, Shatterfoil Typhoon. That's kind of cool, actually. If I ever want to use my Typhoon. And last thing, we've got a Dragoonity Structure Deck. I don't remember everything that came in here. Obviously, Dragoonity stuff. I don't think Phalanx came in, because I think you had to get that out of Hidden Arsenal back then. Oh, there we go. Maybe. Alright. Oh, thought I had it. Alright, Yu-Gi-Oh! Online Dual Accelerator card. I don't know if this is what originally came in them, or... But that's kind of a randomly cool thing. Dragoonity Arma. as like an invite thing that they used to have. Aklas, Dragoonity Dukes, Legionnaire, Tribus, Darkspear, Dragoonity Militum, Dragoonity Primus Pilus, Brandy Stock, Javelin, Miss Valley Falcon, Hunter Owl, Garuda, Flying Kamakuri, Spear Dragon, Twin Headed Behemoth, Arm Dragon Level 3 and 5, a couple Mass Dragons, Dragon Ravine, 
Dragon Mastery, United We Stand, Mage Power, Dragon's Gunfire, Stamping Destruction, Creature Swap, Monster Reincarnation, you got a Foolish Burial, Card Destruction, Windstorm of Ataqua, Relieve Monster, Legacy, that, a Mirror Force. I think this was originally Mirror Force's first common printing too, so I think this was a huge deal when the deck came out. So that's kind of cool, is the thing that came with it. Bottomless Trap Hole and an Icarus Attack. So, I mean, it's $24.95 from Walmart. You get, you randomly do get, get some cool stuff. Oh, I didn't even notice that was foreign. Huh, it's a Portuguese Dark Magician. That's kind of cool, actually. First edition DIY. Okay, I guess I didn't notice that was foreign. That's kind of cool. Um, For $24.95, though, you get, you could get something cool like this, or I don't know what else would come in it. If you just get a top loader, like you could potentially get Cyberstein. Um, I wouldn't mind actually opening another one of these on camera to be honest because this was kind of cool to see and I'm curious what another one might look like and just see the differences even between the two. So uh, maybe expect another opening of this. I want to try to pick up another OCG opening video at some point. So I'm going to probably look for some sets, see if I can get a box and maybe go to the Duelist in Korean or something or even just some upcoming set that they have that we don't have would be kind of cool to open. So expect that. I'm going to see if I can pick that up. But yeah, if you like the video, hit that thumbs up button. Go check out the subscribe or uh, the subscribe button. Sorry. <laughs> um, expect more videos coming up. I'm gonna try to get some deck profiles together for people that'll be going to regionals here in the upcoming season. Um, but yeah, that's the video. Thanks for watching, everyone.